Hey, science enthusiasts! Today I'm going to show you how to power up using an earth battery. Yep, you heard that right. Generate passive electricity from the soil right in your backyard. Let's dive in. First off, what is an earth battery? It's a simple, electrochemical cell that uses the natural moisture and minerals in the soil as an electrolyte. You only need two different metal electrodes like zinc and copper buried in the ground at a certain distance from each other. Here's how it works. When zinc and copper electrodes are inserted into moist soil, a chemical reaction happens. The zinc being more reactive oxidizes and releases electrons. These electrons flow through an external circuit to the copper, creating a small electric current. The soil acts as an electrolyte, conducting ions between the two electrodes. Simple, right? But how much power can you actually get? A single zinc-copper pair in moist soil typically generates around 0.5 to 1.1 volts. The current depends on factors like soil composition, moisture, electrode size, and spacing, usually in the microamp to milliamp range per electrode pair. To boost the voltage, you can connect multiple cells in series. Want more current? Connect them in parallel. So what does this mean in practical terms? A single pair might produce 0.5 to 1 volt at a few milliamps, but imagine having 10 pairs in series, that could give you around 5 to 10 volts, similar to a small battery. Using larger plates and placing them in wetter, mineral-rich soil can generate more power, possibly a few hundred milliwatts to watts. With the right setup, you could power small LED lights, sensors, or low-power electronics. Of course, there are limitations. The power output is low, so it's not suitable for high-energy applications. Soil moisture and composition significantly impact performance. Plus, the zinc electrodes can corrode over time, reducing efficiency. Ready to try it out? You'll need some metal plates, wires, and moist soil. Bury the electrodes at a distance, connect them via an external circuit, and watch the magic of science unfold. If you enjoyed this DIY guide, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more science fun. Catch you next time.